Hey folks, Bo Cephas here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we'll be discussing some Baldur's Gate 3 mods and I think uh, any person that needs to organize their inventory, uh, these, these mods are a must have. So if you're new to modding Baldur's Gate 3, if you never played it before, if you didn't play Early Access but never modded it, or even if you uh, played Early Access but you never modded Baldur's Gate 3 before, there's a little bit of a setup. You'll need a couple of mods before you actually get uh, to the mod bag of bags, uh, which I will be showing you. The first mod that you need is the full release mod fixer by Marius. It's highlighted right here by Marius. And the description is a mod fixer is required for mods to work in the full release of the game. This does the same as the patch 3 for those of y'all familiar with it that modded uh, early access. This does the same as patch 3 mod fixer but with a clear name and so hopefully more people understand it's required. So for, if you're going to mod your Baldur's Gate 3 game, this mod full release mod fixer is required. It should be the first one you download. Uh, be sure to read the description. I won't go over it here because I'm going to assume that you can read fairly well. But uh, read the description and read and he also provides instructions on how to install it. So the next mod uh, I will be showing you will be the Achievement Enabler mod. So the Achievement Enabler mod by Duke the Dropkicker. This is the one you'll want next. If you're, those of you familiar with modding any game on Steam or uh, especially Baldur's Gate 3, you'll know that they, if you mod the game, they will turn the ability to get your achievements or trophies off if you're using mods in the game. So you'll need this mod if you're an achievement hunter, if you still want to get those achievements and trophies and those Steam cards and all that stuff, you will need this mod next. And it, again, if you scroll down, his instructions are there be a little difficult to read because of, uh, he's tr trying to translate at the same time but the instructions are there on how to install just read the instructions install it where it tells you you need to install it and you'll be golden you'll still get your achievements uh, even though you have a modded game so the next mod called Bag of Bags. And for all of those out there that think the, the inventory management in Baldur's Gate 3 is just a headache, this mod is for you. And to me, personally, I think it should be Baldur's Gate 3 mod of the year. Okay, so I have to correct myself a little. Well, uh, the bag of bags name is actually what it's called when you're in the game. The name of the mod itself is Bags, Bags, Bags. And this is by Leareth. I think I'm getting that name correct. Leareth. This is an awesome mod. And I'll show you what it looks like in the game here in a minute. But you can see by the shot here, you're getting a lot of organization capability in this game with this mod. And again, like all the other mod authors, they have in their description page what the mod is and how to install uh, and activate the mod. So you want to follow those directions. Again, I'm not going to go over those directions for you here. I'm not going to read word for word because uh, I'm assuming that you can read if you're playing the game. So uh, anyway, this mod, to me, is just incredible and should be the Baldur's Gate 3 mod of the year. 
So uh, get that downloaded and install it and you'll find the first set of bag of bags in a chest at the beginning of the tutorial after you that little room that's off to the side after you talk to Shadowheart. So uh, I've already got it loaded in my game. I'll show you what it what it looks like in the game, how I utilize it. You know, you utilize it however you want. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like in the game. And here we go. All right, so here I am. Uh, that is my character, half elf female fighter. It's pretty fun to play. And I I tend to use the custom tab more than these other tabs. The other tabs are all right. And if I need some you know additional breakdown, if I <laughs> confuse myself where my buttons are, you know there's the the tab that shows all of them. But if sometimes during a fight I get I lose something i get over here to this custom tab and i got things lined up the way i want but anyway so here she is you hit your inventory um some of this stuff i just got through killing a starian sorry guys for all y'all that are starian lovers and stuff i i, I don't particularly care for them in, in a different playthrough different character i might let them live but uh here is the bag full of bags. So you double click that to open. Here's your organization. You can do a type. And uh, icons are a little difficult to, uh, to make out on some of it. Just the mod author explains and it's a perfectly good explanation. If you don't like the icons for the bags, uh, mod author explains they are a um, scripter uh, you know they, they make scripts and stuff like that they don't make uh, art <laughs> so they even ask for help to make better icons so you know but uh, regardless there's icons there you can still make them out and I think I think this is a great mod let me expand this a little so some items won't fit in these bags. You can take like this maskless oil. If it won't go in a particular bag that's designed for certain things, they will not highlight for you to be able to use them. Like this, this is the weapon bag, shield bag, scroll case, potion pouch. There you can see I got all my potion stuff cool thing about this once you have stacked items in this potion pass like stacked potions every time you loot them they, they will go to this pouch and of course you can take them and drag them here to your to your uh, UI to your hot bars and stuff like that books when you loot books they'll automatically go to this book uh, uh, this book pouch uh, Armor, weapons, uh, gloves, uh, they will not automatically go to each one. You will have to manually put them in there, but it, it's awesome that you can organize this stuff. Same with jewelry. You have to uh, manually put them in, you know, the case for it. Uh, <coughs> keepsake box, you know, I'll put some random things in there but stuff that I keep like you know for the water to douse fires uh, since I don't usually keep that spell handy and you know uh, the void bulbs and stuff like that they will not go into the grenade satchel there's the grenades that I you know the ones that are considered grenades will go in there but some of the stuff you will have to put in there manually arrows Arrows will automatically go in there uh, when you loot them. So, like I said, some of the stuff you'll still have to do manually to get them in there, but at least it's a way to organize your inventory so things aren't just scattered everywhere. So you can go for a little while 
uh, collecting some things and then stop, take a couple of minutes to organize and put loot in whatever bag. And you can have the uh, bag full of bags for each character and you can even put it in your camp. Uh, your camp box where you put loot. I haven't gotten to that yet because I looted the one off of uh, the Nautiloid ship and I was had enough cash at this point or enough uh, gold to buy just a couple off the vendor in the Druid's Grove. They're pretty expensive when you, when you buy a, a bag full of bags. So I don't have every, every companion with them yet. But the same goes with them. Now, if you transfer inventory items, say scrolls and stuff like that, they will automatically go to the scroll case. Slide them in here. Uh, sometimes they don't. And if they don't, you just open this up, find your scroll case, drop them in. Sometimes they will automatically stack, other times they will not. So you still have to get in there and stack them on occasion. Uh, but there you have it. One of the best organization mods for this game. Uh, I'd nominate it for, for for mod of the year for Baldur's Gate 3. It's an awesome mod. Now, according to Larian, they're patching it. Well, they're doing hot fixes and stuff like that, but there's supposed to be a, a big patch coming. Uh, so I don't know if in this patch they, they didn't say much about it. They didn't release a roadmap for this patch of what all they're doing. But uh, they may have something coming along in that patch that'll uh, help you organize your inventory better. I know they're, uh, they did say they're cooking a mod, or not a mod, but in the patch, uh, uh, a way to be able to edit your your character's appearance while in camp. So, uh, you know, just be on the lookout for that. If they patch you in a better better way to uh, organize your inventory, it may make the mod obsolete. I don't know, but for now, that is. I think this mod is great. But that's all I got for right now. Uh, like the content, like the video, be sure to like and, and subscribe and hit that bell notification. I'll be more making more videos later. Starfield uh, today is supposed to be having that Discord chat today to answer questions and stuff. I'll be watching out for that. And uh, <coughs> we'll see what they got, got for us today. So uh, take care of each other. And thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you next video.